Hello and welcome to the channel. White patches on the skin can be confusing. It can occur due to various causes, including tinea versicolor, sun exposure, dermatitis, and the aging process, as well as more complex conditions such as leprosy, vitiligo, pityriasis alba, and nutritional deficiencies. But it can be particularly confusing among vitiligo, tinea versicolor, and leprosy. So, let's try to clear the confusion between these once and for all. In short, vitiligo happens due to autoimmunity against pigment cells. Tinea versicolor is a superficial fungal infection. Leprosy is caused by a bacteria, Mycobacterium lepri. Vitiligo shows milky white patches with sharp borders and maintains the normal skin texture, but shows a complete absence of melanin, the skin's natural pigment. Tinea versicolor can be white, brown, or pink. Interestingly the word versicolor itself means various color. That means the lesion could be any color other than the skin's natural tone. In leprosy, the lesions are typically pale white or reddish macules or patches. Sometimes papules and plaques may also form. A key differentiator is sensation. In vitiligo and tinea versicolor, sensation is normal. Leprosy causes a loss of sensation because the bacteria that caused the disease damaged the peripheral nerves. This nerve damage can result in the inability to feel pain, touch, heat, or cold in the affected skin patches or limbs. For leprosy and vitiligo, itching is not a typical symptom. In contrast, itching is a common symptom of tinea versicolor, particularly in hot and humid environments. Tinea versicolor also produces scaling when scratched, but scaling is absent in leprosy and vitiligo. Vitiligo commonly affects exposed areas like the face, hands, joints, and other exposed areas. Tinea versicolor prefers the chest, back, upper arm, and shoulders. Leprosy can occur anywhere, but nerve involvement is the key. So to track distribution of leprosy, we have to be aware of nerve distribution of the the body. Here's a brief breakdown of each condition to quickly summarize. Vitiligo is an autoimmune condition in which the body's immune system attacks and destroys melanocytes, the cells responsible for producing pigment. This results in characteristic milky white patches on the skin. The patches are sharply defined and typically have no scaling, no itching, and sensation is normal. Tinea versicolor is a common fungal infection caused by a yeast called malassezia. The infection disrupts the normal pigmentation of the skin resulting in patches that can be lighter, white, darker, brown, or even pinkish. These patches often have mild itching and fine, powdery scaling. They are most commonly found on the chest and back. As this yeast thrives in oily, warm environments, leprosy, also known as Hansen's disease, is a chronic infectious disease caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium lepri. It primarily affects the skin and nerves. The key characteristic of leprosy patches is a loss of sensation, which differentiates it from other skin conditions. The patches can be white or reddish and are often accompanied by thickened nerves that can be felt under the skin near the affected area. I really hope this cleared your confusion about white patches. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more simple explanations. Until next time, stay curious, stay healthy. Goodbye.